Martin, welcome back to Reading Football Club. I'm, I'm sure you'll be looking forward to the, the occasion today, you know, marking the club's 150th anniversary. Oh, very much so. Um, lovely to be invited back and, uh, as you say, 150th anniversary. And we're going to see some old friends, which is, which is really great. Uh, it's the thing is, it's marking the history of the football club and those kind of relationships you build along the way, you know, old friends that you kind of keep in touch with or see, you know, increasingly rarely, if you like. That's why it's great to mark it, isn't it, really? I think so, yeah. Uh, we don't get together like we would wish, uh, or, or as often as we wish, but uh, when you're getting a great occasion like this, um, then we make, make make the most of it. And uh, I say they, they get us down here, and uh, it's lovely to see people that you haven't seen for, for a little while. Is that a big thing you took away from your time at Reading, the relationships you made? I was here a long time, um, and made some really good friends, and, and they've, they've ended up being... Uh, lifetime friends, uh, which is even more important. Uh, you don't know that at the time, you, you, that, 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 they're just players, um, players you get on well with, uh, and then obviously you leave and, and they, 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 their career takes them somewhere else. Um, and then suddenly you, you know, you're sending Christmas cards and birthday cards and meeting up for a drink and etc. And then suddenly, we, as I say, all these years later, we're still doing it. And so, uh, yeah, it's a great, great feeling. What are your sort of fondest memories of your time, um, you know, obviously over at Elm Park and playing for the for Reading? Elm Park was, yeah, looking back now, is it's just chalk and cheese, isn't it, when you look at this um, and some of the other stadiums that are in the country. Um, but that that was what football was. Um, it was a beautiful place to play. Um, and we had some we had some great nights there. You know, look back at some of the games. You can remember some of the, you know, knocking Coventry out of the cup one, one particular game I can remember. And... Um, yeah, we, we played some very, very good games there and, and really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, it's been it's been fantastic. But now, now you come to this level and football's moved on and we, you know, we've all got to appreciate the fact that this, this is what it is needed now. Obviously, we're here you know, a couple of hours before kick-off and you know, there's only a few fans around at this point. But I guess every time, you know, on, on the occasions when you do come back, I'm sure you get, you know, you can't get from your car to the, to the front door before someone said, you know, hello, wants to take a photo with you or, you know, wants to tell you about the Simog Cup or, or other memories, which is great, isn't it? It was amazing. We parked in the, in the car park outside and literally put my overcoat on. And uh, as, you, as you said, I turned around and there were three guys coming towards me. I'm thinking, oh, what have I done? You know, and uh, it's it's wonderful they still remember you. Um, but they, it, it's the other side of it is this, it's their memories. Um, and the first thing they say is, what a great day Wembley was. And, or look at this picture. This is this was the, the game away somewhere where you scored or whatever. Um, and obviously they want your autograph, which is wonderful. But yeah, it's, 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 it's a wonderful feeling. And, and as you say, the Wembley game was obviously the highlight of my career and or, or was and always will be. 603 games that was uh, yeah the big one wasn't it for for I guess everyone who played in it and, and, and our really you know for probably all of our fans who were there too it was an incredible day and um, even though it was you know years and years ago now um, it, yeah you, you, you never forget that feeling you never forget waking up that morning and thinking is this really happening and then obviously it is and then to win it as well I mean you know nobody expected us really to win it um and we, we did the impossible and obviously we lifted the trophy, which was, was fantastic. And lastly, Martin, you know, those 603 appearances, you know, I don't think many players at many clubs will come close to that ever again. You know, in our 150 years of history, you've got a, a very unique uh, record there and that will probably never be beaten. And that's, that's got to be a proud thing for you and obviously your family as well. Yeah, very much so. Um, and again, you go back to the day you started, you had no idea no idea whatsoever that you know to play a game is would be great to play 603 is, is just ridiculous um and they and it, it was a big chunk of my life um they looked after me the club looked after me i was you know I, I would have moved obviously like people did move in those days but they looked after me i was always happy here and um and we did yeah we were up and down like yo-yos in the league but we had good cup runs um and i absolutely thoroughly enjoyed it and, and I get people telling me now and you know I still go into clubs where times are different obviously you know uh, the money's different uh, the, the whole the whole game is different and they say oh I bet you wish you know and I go not really I wouldn't change the day I had and I, and I think the old players would be the same um, the friendships we had the passion we had for the game the love of the game and uh, I wouldn't change what I had I, to, to say where from where I came from you know some small boy in a village on the other side of Stratford and Avon to, to end up playing at Wembley and picking a cup up 603 games at Reading and then moving on to Birmingham you 
you just can't make it up really. It's, um, it's incredible and I've loved every minute of it.